What's up you guys, welcome to The Collective. My name is Furman and in this video we are going to be talking about DK Oldies. Now, you might say, why are we talking about DK Oldies? Aren't they just a small video game company or a retro video game company? Well, if you guys watch YouTube like I do, you guys have probably already seen that DK Oldies has been mentioned a lot. Now they are a old um, retro company um, small company I believe where they basically sell older games at a bit of a premium but they make sure that everything looks really good um, they try to sell things that are in the best condition and they also do refurbishing that's pretty much why we're talking about them now the big controversy with them is the fact that people don't like them selling retro games for more expensive or you know like doing that kind of stuff and also the fact that they're refurbishing might not actually be refurbishing um so yeah i actually heard about this through uh, review tech usa it's one of my favorite youtube channels to watch and at first i actually recorded a video about this last week and i deleted it because um, my whole thing was the fact that everybody was just being so pessimistic and negative I know Rich, um, he can kind of fall into that, like a lot of his videos are very pessimistic. And so I was just going to talk about that and um, yeah, and so I started watching some of the videos where he actually bought consoles from them that were supposed to be refurbished. And um, actually that wasn't even really the big of an issue, like honestly I was, I was kind of irritated about that but I didn't really care too much. But then DK Oldie started banning people and they started deleting comments and um, they basically pulled a full on PR stunt, which is just ignore all of the negativity and then just post videos that show them refurbishing consoles. Now, you guys might think that that's a good thing, right? That makes sense for them to go and start posting videos like that, showing their refurbishing process. But the fact that people have been buying consoles from you guys and they're actually not refurbished even though you say they are is a big deal. You're literally lying to the customer, especially if you are charging them a premium for the fact that it's refurbished. That's the whole reason why you guys are making or why you're able to make more money on older consoles. Yeah, you can go on eBay right now and probably find yourself a Nintendo or an Xbox or a Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color for way cheaper than DK Oldies would probably sell it for. But the reason why you go to DK Oldies is because of their name, like their branding. You know they're like Nintendo. They are, like, you know what to expect. You're going to expect a, a good quality game or a good quality console for the most part. That's usually what it is, and so that's why people go to them. So honestly, I think it's kind of jacked up, and I think it's really upsetting because I've actually been a little bit of a DK Oldies fan too. Like I like watching their, you know, their shorts and their TikTok videos, and um, you know, like they're always funny, they're always quirky, and they do a lot of cool things. So I just think it's really cool for a small business to be able to make money even though they're making a little more money than they should, but to be able to make money off of these games and to be able to put the time and effort it takes to make sure these, these consoles and these video games are being well maintained. I mean, look at this. This game, this is a Nintendo game and this is an insanely old game, but it still looks like it's in brand new condition. Like clearly, whoever had it, my buddy, uh, one of my, my one of my friends took care of this thing, and because of that, it's in as good a condition as it is. And uh, oh, sorry, that wasn't lined up right. Stop it! Get some help. But yeah, they took care of this thing, and because of that, it's able to last as long as it has. And I don't want this game to just last 30 years. I want this game to last a hundred years. So, you know, that's honestly why people pay as much money as they do when they go to DK Oldies. Or at least, that's what I would hope you would do. I hope it's not just because, oh, they're trending and it's on TikTok or whatever, blah, blah, blah. 
hopefully it's not that so um yeah honestly if any of the dk oldies guys were to ever stumble upon this video honestly i would just say man just be honest like people love honesty if you go out and just say hey you know our quality assurance was not where it was supposed to be um then you know people will at least accept that like people are more forgiving than you think they are if you're at least honest with them so maybe try that all right guys i know this is a little bit of a short video but honestly i uh, i actually have to leave right now so um thanks for watching and as always guys don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this all right guys see you later